Hello, LBE students and families. Today is Thursday, March 19th, 2020. Today is day one of homeschooling. Woohoo! The best part of homeschooling, you don't have to raise your hand to go to the bathroom or get a drink of water. All right. <laughs> Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Salute. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. All right, we have the math problem of the day. All this right. This is Gonzalez with our math problem. Are you ready? All right, so this one is called Digging Dinosaurs. You are swimming underwater in a lake and you see dinosaur feet in the water. Check them out. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go to the surface in case they're not friendly dinosaurs. So below is a picture of what you see. Hmm. Okay. So what do we see? I see eight dinosaur feet. Mm -hmm. So how many dinosaurs do you think are standing in the lake? Depends on the kind of dinosaur. Absolutely. So boys and girls, the questions that you have for this are how many dinosaurs are standing in the lake? Make sure to explain how you know and use words in mathematical language to explain your solution. All so I'm right. thinking some dinosaurs have two mm -hmm. feet, but mm -hmm. some have four feet. Mm -hmm. So, And that could be two dinosaurs or it could be eight dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. The solution's unlimited. Yep. Tell us what you think. All, All right. right. Our journal prompt of the day. All right. So, boys and girls, your friend has been absent from school all week. Um, what we want you to do is write a letter to tell your friend what happened at school and what they missed. So, some things to think about. Remember, if you're in kindergarten, you're going to draw a picture, maybe. Write one sentence for your response. Mm -hmm. If you're in grades one through two, uh, you're going to draw a picture and write three to four sentences for a response. If you are in grade three, you're going to draw a picture and write a five to seven sentence paragraph. Don't forget to include sequencing words when appropriate, like first, next, then, and last. Um, and if you are in grades four through six, you are going to write a minimum of three well-developed paragraphs with five to seven sentences each. Don't forget to use descriptive words and transition words. Fantastic. All right, fantastic. I can't wait to hear their responses. I'm I know. To their friends. I'm looking forward to it. And boys and girls, remember, um, families, if your mom is the one, or dad, auntie, uncle, older sibling is the one with technology, they can take a picture of your response um, or of your journal prompt and then put it in the comments below. Perfect. Okay, and our story today, we have There is a Bird on Your Head by Mo Williams. He's the author and the illustrator. So exciting. So exciting. There is a bird on your head. I like the little birds. I know. They're so cute. cute. Title page. Title page with the title and the author and the illustrator. Oh. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Piggy! <laughs> Is something on my head? Yes. <laughs> there is a bird on your head. There's a bird on my head? Ah! Is there a bird on my head now? No. Now there are two birds on your head. What are two birds doing on my head? They're in love. The birds on my head are in love? They're lovebirds. Lovebirds? How do you know they're lovebirds? They are making a nest. <laughs> two birds are making a nest on my head? Why would two birds make a nest on my head? I'm afraid to ask. Do I have an egg on my head? One, two, three. You have three eggs on your head. 
I do not want three eggs on my head. Then I have good news. The eggs are gone. The eggs are hatching. Hatching? The eggs on my head are hatching? <laughs> they have hatched. <sighs> now I have three baby chicks on my head and two birds and a nest. I do not want three baby chicks, two birds, and a nest on my head. Where do you want them? Somewhere else! Why not ask them to go somewhere else? Oh, ask them? Ask them. Okay, I will try asking. Excuse me, birds. Will you please go somewhere else? No problem. It worked! Bye! <laughs> now there are no birds on my head. Thank you, Piggy. Thank you very much. You are welcome. <laughs> the end. Thank you for reading with me, Mrs. Leonard. Thank you. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the story yes, today. Yes, absolutely. All right, our joke of the day from yesterday. Why are so many leprechauns, gardeners, and florists? Because they have green thumbs. <laughs> All right, our joke for today. What kind of a bow cannot be tied? Hmm. All right. If you think you know the answer, you're going to tell someone in your house. Mm -hmm. Give them your best guess, and they'll let you know. Maybe, Maybe. you could be right. right. But you definitely have to tune in tomorrow mm -hmm. um, to find out what the punchline is. Yep. Don't forget, LBE Tigers are present, present at, at home, home school, school, always respectful, willing to work, and stay safe. Bye-bye.